Now, he's only 14, but Tian Lang Guan is holding his own with the world's best golfers, taking part in America's prestigious Masters tournament. Guan, the youngest player in Masters history, the youngest, clocked up a one over par 73 in the first round to put him on track to finish as the leading amateur. Our sports reporter, Jordan Jarrett Bryan, watched all the action. What were you doing, aged 14? Probably not making history as one of the biggest golfing tournaments in the world. But Chinese star Tian Lan Guan did, becoming the youngest ever player at the Masters at Augusta. Guan, when he's not doing homework, is sinking putts. This one for a birdie on the 18th hole, as he finished his opening round, one over par. Wonderful. A respectable score, even by the standard of two times winner, Ben Crenshaw. Like his playing style, the teenager took the world's media in his stride. Do you think you can win this tournament? Um, I think probably not this year, but uh, I think I can win it in the future. First, I want to win a major, and um, hopefully I can win the four majors in one year. <laughs> <laughs> Guan qualified for this year's Masters, winning the Asian Pacific Amateur Championships last year. His proud father quick to show his pride. He first swung a club aged just four. And despite coming from a country that hasn't fully embraced the sport, he's been breaking records ever since. Back at Augusta, Guan's idol, Tiger Woods, finished two under par just three better than the teenager. World number two, Rory McIlroy, got off to a steady start also, suffering a couple of missed opportunities, but finished the day a healthy one under. Australian Mark Leisure shared the lead with Sergio Garcia, hitting an impressive six under. The Spaniard had some words of empathy for China's new star. We would have been shaken, and, uh, and it happened to me with 16 when I, when I played the British Open, uh, and I thought I was gonna miss it on, on that first T-shirt, so I can't imagine how Oh, he must have felt. Guan is currently three over par on day two, but there's no doubt, whatever the final outcome, this boy from the Far East appears to have earned the respect of golf's elite.